Shall we start, sir? Jenna, sir? Yes, yes. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, sir. गुड आफ्टरनून एंड हैपी टीचर्स डे टू द रिस्पेक्टेड ऑल टूडे uh that is on 5th september of every year we celebrate national teachers day on the birth anniversary of dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan a prominent scholar and academician this is very official day for teachers on this occasion school of education kr mangalam university gurugram haryana in collaboration with chaudhary charting university merit organizes a panel discussion on the role of teachers as envisaged in ndp 2020 we are having some eminent educationists with us before going ahead with the session it is better to know them better we are having we are having dr ananda pradhan he is working as a professor in the school of education at apj apj satya university he is a first batch qualifier of net in education conducted by ugc in 18 1985 he has previously worked in premier national institutions in india such as ncrt nupa so then thank you sir and we welcome you sir here in the session so uh, we are having dr dd agarwal with us who retired as professor from department of adult and continuing education university of delhi still he is contributing towards the upliftment of education and society so we welcome you sir really looking forward for the enriching session so we we are having dr kusum yadav in the session she is principal at rao birinder singh college of education rewadi haryana she has a great experience as a teacher educator we welcome you ma'am thank you dr puja and uh, we are having we are having dr pk mishra with us who is a family member of chaudhary charan singh university he served as professor of education and also held the responsibility of head and uh, dean in faculty of education of the university currently he is working as director at center of for policy research in higher education in nepal new delhi thank you sir and we welcome you so oh, another panelist is our very own professor tanya gupta uh, who is pre presently working as dean school of education and additional in charge as dean school student welfare and officiating dean school of humanities kr mangalam university during her vast professional experience of nearly 19 years from school to university she has ceaselessly endured to demonstrate his exemplary leadership and in creating a very innovative environment for the students so we welcome her also but i don't think she is there we think they she will be joining soon so we are going to start the session now uh, welcome all the eminent speakers educationists who are there in the session so here we can see a news paper article a news paper article from a very prominent uh, newspaper of hindi which says that modi sarkar banayegi digital school nahi hogi teachers ki zarurat so by reading this statement i feel very uh, uncomfortable and uh, problematic that how come this is possible and how it will be torturous to the students so uh, a question will be there from the my side that uh, is it possible to have schools uh, without teachers and will they be working 
uh, appropriately as the schools who are working right now. So this question will be for, I think, uh, uh, Dr. Padhan will be able to answer it. Yeah. Yeah. And please share the uh, experiences, sir. Yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Puja. And also thanks for giving me uh, the opportunity at the past end because uh, I have actually at two o'clock uh, in our university also, we have the program of the same teacher's day. So I'll in between, after sharing my views, I'll be, uh, I'll take the exit, I'll take the excuse. So as regards this, uh, as regards this uh, whole topic that is uh, where the role of teacher as envisaged in the NEP. So if you see that quite a lot have been talked about the teacher, teacher educators in the new education policy. And uh, of course it includes related to what is there in the question related to empowering the teachers for ICT, the new concept of uh, blended learning and all this. So brief uh, just I'll quote one thing from the new education policy itself. It says, teacher must be at the center of the fundamental reforms in education. System. So technically also, if you see curriculum as a paper, as a discipline, the NEP 2020 is a reform. There are different versions of curriculum reform. So it's a reform actually, because after that, uh, uh, in uh, if you school education national curriculum framework 2005 then this is the past one that will be upcoming after this policy a uh, new type of curriculum in school education teacher education all are being in place they are also the role of teachers with respect to usage of technology will be there so when we say that it is at the center so certainly a lot a lot is there for the teachers referring back to New education policy, again, it says that we have to bring out the, our traditional knowledge into the system by integrating what is there in the modern system, integrating to the technology. So all have been talked of there. Some of the important thing is that professional development of school teachers for 50 hours, every teacher to take. So now the teacher himself or herself has to come for that. Now, such a large scale teaching and teacher training how is it possible without using the technology? Because it means 50 hours mean it is planned in such a way that it's a full six week, six days week, I mean. So the teacher has to take leave. If not, then other how to reach about that. So certainly there is a important role of technology in that. Then multi uh, disciplinary knowledge and skill. So that current teacher no longer need to be unidisciplinary. Of course, teachers themselves are multidisciplinary, but probably expectation in NEP 2020 is something. Much. And therefore, the yesterday or day before yesterday, what is circulated in transaction of the current university institutes into the multidisciplinary, uh, multidisciplinary universities or institutes. There also you can find a lot on the teacher. In fact, overall in the technical group, there is a small group of teacher educators who have designed that. So a lot that I'm not going very detailed because it will be too lengthy in that. So certainly a lot is there in the, uh, for the teacher. And uh, the teacher need to understand the technology, uh, understand what is the new pedagogy of blended learning. As teacher educator, we need to include those in our beard and even upcoming integrated program. So all these will be there uh, uh, in course of time. Something at the same time while appraising the new education policy, I would like to be critical also. That when the draft policy was announced, I found something there. That was that what was talked up in Otari Commission way back in 1964-66. That there should be a cadre of Indian Education Service, IES, similar to like Indian Administrative Service, Indian Revenue Service, and like that. That was very much there. I had appreciated, I had sent my comments also during the draft. But what I saw in the final policy, it is not. So that has been omitted. Whatever you can say, whether it is by lobby by some group, you can take political, bureaucratic, whatever. But why I'm mentioning is that when we say reforms and then something like this uh, is not there, which was talked back 
in the new this uh, what was kothari commission report and whatever policy you name today for me there is no greater policy than kothari commission some of you may agree also it is a treasure and therefore it is named at education and national development <coughs> and many time any policy talks about traces back something from that also so that was my feeling that i was critical on that that this is not there in the new education policy anyway but there are many many good things in that including the uh, topic that is given to me about this um, about talking about the ICT. So we need to build. Now the challenges will come is that existing teacher. Yes, upcoming teachers they are techno savvy, but upcoming te existing teachers how to enable them to use technology that will come in that 50 hours day, 50 hours of compulsory professional development and so on. So first of all the role teacher will be that the teacher himself and herself should be ready for this professional development. Then only it will come. Other things yes of course. Uh, to enable that and for implement that again in the new transition, it is said that those universities not having the teacher education department are to set up those departments gradually, page by page, and already existing department to strengthen that. It is very much said in that. Okay, so to sum up, there is a very great role of teachers and at the same time teacher educators because they are to produce the teachers. So with this, I. Uh, congratulate uh, the university, your university, Kerala University, for organizing this seminar, and also thanks for giving me this chance for sharing. I may not be able to attend questions and other, I think, but uh, uh, I was able to express my views in this. So thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <coughs> uh, so. That is a question is like, sir, uh, I'm not talking, suppose for example, teacher is a national nation builder. Teacher is an agent of social change. So we have already formulated so many commission and committees time to time. Or if we we'll talk about uh, right to education act 2009, if we we'll talk about uh, different type of educational schemes and policies implemented in school education. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, so many challenges, so many difficulties in this respect. So I would like to draw the attention of Professor Mishra. You have engaged so many policy and uh, planning with respect to education. Just uh, share your own views. National policy 2020. Will it be a challenge or facilitate our process to bring quality in education? Please share your view, sir. Mr. Sir, please. Uh, uh, thank you, Dana, sir. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. So, uh, before coming to this the question, uh, that I think Dr. Kusum, no, uh, who was asking this? Dr. Komal was asking this question that there will be a digital school and whether there will be, yes, Dr. Puja was asking this question yeah, yeah. by showing a clip. Uh, Dr. Puja, no need to worry. There cannot be any education system, any education system, any type of education system, teacher, boss and teacher will be an integral part of it. Yes, we can say that maybe the role of a teacher will change, but no need to worry. Don't go that this, what this clip says, teacher will be there. If we, maybe the role of teacher will change. So uh, if I'm coming to the question asked by uh, Dr. Jaina, so let me remind you, National Education Policy 2020 talks a lot about teachers and, and rightly talks because in my view, quality of any education system is directly proportional to the quality of the teachers. This is very right. So many reports, research commission and our day-to-day -day observation is a testimony to that. So if you will go through the National Education Policy, it specifically mentions six roles. I, I categorize these roles under six categories. Role number one, it expects that teachers will transcend the curriculum in a learner and learning-centric way. 
So the emphasis of this national education policy 2020 is that yes, of course, teachers are the linchpin in any education system, but they have to transact the curriculum in a more learner-centric way and not only learner-centric way, from learner-centric to learning-centric way. So this is the first recommendation of NEP. The second is that teachers have been given the responsibility to ensure the holistic development of the learner, not only mechanical development, head, heart, and mind. Gandhi ji kaise the? Holistic development of the learner. This is the responsibility number two that has been assigned through NEP to the teachers. The third is related to assessment. Teachers are supposed to bring formative assessment in the classrooms. 360 degree assessment, or you can say where they are supposed to use assessment as a tool for learning. So they have to emphasize more on assessment for learning. So this is the third role uh, NEP is putting on the soldier of uh, teachers. Then the fourth role is, of course, we as Pradhanji was saying, teachers are supposed to use technology for betterment of teaching learning process. It is the, there is no such expectation that technology will replace teachers, but rather teachers are supposed to use technology for betterment of teaching and learning. The fourth, fifth role is that teachers have to conduct at any level, whether you are you are teaching at a school level or higher education, you have to be you have to engage in research, conduct research, and most importantly, bring research culture into your classrooms. This is missing, and so multidisciplinary. There is one uh, argument behind multidisciplinary is that this will promote in, uh, a research culture in our institution. And the sixth and sixth role is, and that is more related to the teachers, is they have to seek for and they have to engage in continuous professional development activities. So I cannot be a good teacher if I am not learning. I have to be a lifelong learner first, then before becoming a good teacher. So these are the six. If, if you will go through this uh, whole policy and you will read, go through 60, 62 pages, uh, I think. Uh, in my view, these are the six basic requirement or six basic characteristics uh, put up behind uh, teachers in this policy document. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So, I would like to draw the attention of Professor Agrawal. Sir, uh, during your tenure in Delhi University, you have already implemented national education policy and you have also observed so many problems yes. and how, how to handle this difficulty. But uh, how would you suggest, how would you suggest what should be the role of the teacher account in national policy in 2020? Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, yes, you are audible. Please speak. Yes, you are okay. audible, sir. Okay. Uh, as stated by you, I was Delhi University for 35 years in adult education department. Actual 1977, UGC declared that besides teaching research, extension should be also part of education. So we started the adult education program. So what I feel in the new situation under school structure, which says five plus three plus three plus four. Okay. How will you define the role of teacher in these four situations? The role of teacher for children who are taking first foundation stage. That is class one, two, so preparatory and class one and two. That is primary plus preparatory class, play with school. So the role of teacher will be different in this stage. As you move to upper side, for example, from eight to 11 years, what will be the role of teacher at that stage? Then third stage, 
that is 11 to 14, what you call middle stage, last stage. So what I want to say is that the teacher's role has to define the context of not only in a particular way, but all four stages of education. When I say play way school, the role of teacher will be quite different. For when we say the role of teacher, the role of teacher at secondary stage, they have integrated now 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. At that stage, the child becomes adult. So principles of teaching shall be not pedagogy, but andragogy. So what role the teacher will play as a facilitator, as an information giver, or providing the sources from this the child can learn. So what I want to say is that in adult education, we take care of education of all sections of society, whether they are in regular school system, whether they are the dropouts, whether they are re-entering the system, whether whatever they are doing, whether they can take research. So we have to decide, define the role of, keep aside what NEP 2020 says, keep aside what we think, but we have to encounter the real ground situation where the child will play a different role. Now, when we say the role of teacher while using technology, so whether we shall simply say to a child, please join the course of MOOC, and we shall help you. Should we say no, we shall teach our own. Should we restrict teaching only to B.Ed, J.B.T., D.L.Ed, BLA also only, or you have to widen the scope to, for example, drawing teacher, music teacher, physical education teacher, the language teacher, foreign language teacher, coach these days, we are, the schools are employing coach for different sports. So that way my submission is that we have to identify the role of teachers at different stages not general be at Ahmed. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, uh, sir. ma'am, am I audible? Yes. Yes, sir, you are audible. Ma'am, uh, you are heading your institution, you are also heading into policy making. And uh, if you talk about uh, national policy 2020-20, the facilities uh, are in the colleges and uh, the curriculum. There is a that these are ready, ready for ready implementing for policy, policy or uh, you have some sort of other suggestion to do? Yes, Dr. Jaina, first of all, I thank you for organizing this event in collaboration with CCS University and that too on such an auspicious day that is Teacher's Day. And as by your brochure, I, you gave me the topic, the role of teacher as envisaged in uh, NEP 2020. Before me, Dr. Pradhan, Dr. Professor Mishra, Professor D.D. Agarwal, they have, I mean, um, put forward their views on this topic. And I would like to add something what I feel is the role of teacher as envisaged in new education policy. Uh, Dr. Pradhan has said very rightly, and all teacher educators, they agree to it, that if we look at the policy, we can say it's a old wine in new bottle, if I'm not wrong, because Kothari Commission also, uh, I mean, stated all these, uh, I mean, points which are in there. And of course, there are some new things also there. Every policy has some plus and some, uh, I mean, negative or critical. Uh, so we will not go into it. Our topic is what is the role of teacher? So as uh, 
professor mishra said when dr puja showed that clip that digital school and no teacher required <laughs> to usse dekh kar ke bahut aisa lagta hai ki hamare teacher education institution ya teacher kyu karenge theek hai to mishra ji ne bahut sahi kaha ki aisa koi school even i also feel aisa koi school nahi ban sakta jisme teacher nahi ho because robots can't teach and as envisaged in this uh, new education policy it lays emphasis on critical thinking that the role of teacher is not jo traditional role teacher ka chal raha tha that knowledge facilitator that teacher knows wo class mein aata hai wo sab bachcho ko batayega bacche tabhi knowledge lenge that role is changed now because technology has come and as uh, dr pradhan talked about blended learning yes blended learning will be there technology will be there to assist the teacher technology is not going to replace the teacher और एनईपी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी के जो पॉइंट्स हैं जो भी मैं डिस्कस करूंगी उनके हिसाब से तो बिल्कुल भी ऐसा नहीं हो पाएगा तो जो भी टीचर एजुकेटर्स और टीचर्स और वुड बी टीचर्स आई थिंक योर स्टूडेंट्स आर आल्सो अटेंडिंग दिस वेबिनार तो डरने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है वी विल नीड सो मेनी टीचर्स एंड टीचर की रिक्वायरमेंट हमेशा रहेगी यस टीचर हैज टू लर्न as stated by professor mishra also that teacher has to develop continue professional development ki zarurat rahegi so all the teachers have to be on their toes they have to learn if they want to survive because what we read like when i did my beard now the course has changed 360 degrees abhi aapne bhi kiya hoga bahut sari nayi cheeze aa gayi hain syllabus new things are coming and we are updating ourselves we are learning so teacher has to be constant learner because no candle can burn the other candle till it is burning itself so as professor didi agarwal put forward about the uh, pedagogical structure 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 pattern jo ab hamari new education policy mein aa raha hai so it will change some curricular aspect some pedagogical aspect and teachers also how they will have to deal with the students now i come to that the main emphasis of this new education policy is to develop critical thinking so what is critical thinking that is critical thinking is uh, means a thinker improves the quality of his thinking by skillfully analyzing assessing and reconstructing it. so it is a self directed self disciplined self monitored and self corrected ab itni badi badi baatein ye maine bhi bol di hai iski definition mein bhi hai so teacher ka role jo hai wo bahut badh jata hai and specially he has to be ki bachchon ko kaise aur dekhiye jo critical thinking ki hum baat kar rahe hain to technology to isko kabhi overcome kar hi nahi sakti hai because no computer or uh, machine cannot understand and cannot guide as per student ki usko kaise main analyze karwaun kaise uske andar observation develop karwaun so this new policy emphasizes mainly on development of critical thinking among the children so that they can become uh, i mean fit for the 21st century like for example critical thinking even in teacher also would be teacher has to see ki maine ye lesson padhaya ye bachcho ko kyun nahi samajh aaya what needs to be improved so he has to critically analyze himself so same way he has to develop critical thinking among the students ki wo jo kaam kar rahe hain in that situation wo rata rata ya rot memory nahi hoga that is what that is it lays emphasis on inquiry based learning so inquiry based learning karni hogi jo class mein teachers padhayenge unka role bahut challenging ho jata hai in new education policy jab hum implement karenge and hope i mean we are very optimistic and educationists should always be very optimistic because it lays emphasis on holistic learning that is all round development inquiry based learning discovery based learning and analysis based learning so the main focus will be on key concepts idea implications and problem solving 
and for this the teachers have to be trained to do so as i am heading teacher education institute i see hamare ko bacche aise lane honge jinke andar missionary zeal ho then only this new education policy gal bhi aata rahe the can be implement because policy to bahut banti hai पॉलिसी बनाना और पॉलिसी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन दे जो लैग रह जाता है उसमें कि वो इम्प्लीमेंटेशन अच्छे से नहीं होता तो कोई भी अच्छी पॉलिसी कभी भी कामयाब नहीं हो सकती है सो द टीचर्स हैव टू बी मोर इंटरक्टिव आगे जो बच्चे को पढ़ाने के लिए जाएंगे तो हमें अपने टीचर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन में भी एक जो उनका कैरिकुलम है उसको चेंज करने की जरूरत है टीचर्स को as uh, dr mishra or pradhan uh, was saying that uh, everyone has to do some 50 hour course definitely hame technology ki madad leni hogi uske liye aur wo course teacher kare and they have to be self discipline ki wo course properly kare acche se attend kare kyunki ye kuch baatein aa jati hai na self discipline self direction self evaluation to inki bahut zyada baat न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में की गई है देन इट टॉक्स अबाउट द टीचर हैज टू बी मोर फन ओरिएंटेड इन द क्लासरूम बिकॉज वी टॉक अबाउट एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग ही हैज टू बी क्रिएटिव ही हैज टू बी कोलेबरेटिव ही हैज टू बी एक्सप्लोरेटरी इन हिस टीचिंग सो एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग को भी बहुत इम्फेसिस किया गया है इस न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में जिसको हम गांधी जी की न्यू तालीम के भी नाम से बोलते हैं सो इट इज हैंड हेड एंड हार्ट ऑल शुड बी इन्वॉल्व सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू इंक्लूड आर्ट्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स इंटीग्रेशन टीचर्स हैव टू यूज स्टोरी टेलिंग इन देयर टीचिंग एंड दे नीड टू डेवलप स्किल्स दैट इज कोलेबरेशन सेल्फ इनिशिएशन सेल्फ डायरेक्शन सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन सेल्फ इवेल्युएशन team work responsibility i mean now the role of teacher is very challenging when this new education policy is implemented yes teacher's role is going to be very challenging because he has to inculcate all these uh, skills and uh, in the students and they need to have a zeal so hame aise teachers chahiye jinme waqai zeal ho as we all know newspaper wagara mein kai baar aata rehta hai that we are already facing a staff crunch school mein staff ki bahut shortage hai aur jo hai wo uh, school mein jaate nahi hai uh, teacher absenteeism ye hamari kuch bahut badi problem hai jaise ghost teacher hai aise hi ghost student bhi ho gaye hain even in teacher education program uh, my very senior colleagues professor dd agarwal professor mishra and professor pradhan will agree to it that teacher education is in crisis so to implement nep we need to overhaul our teacher education program also ghost teacher and ghost student ye ek bahut bada problem hamare challenge teacher education ke samne hai to jab ghost student hi hai to wo kaise to sab kuch learn karega aur kaise padhayega then next new education policy talks of vocational education at school level jo sir ne uh, uh, that is from 6 onwards jo level has students ka that is uh, uh, that is what middle school jisko unhone bola hai theek hai that first was uh, foundation then preparatory then middle and that secondary so middle school se hi kuch educational uh, प्रोग्राम्स बच्चों के लिए इंक्लूड किए जाए एंड टीचर्स हैव टू टेक आई मीन एक्टिव रोल इन एंगेजिंग आई मीन ये वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग जो है ये सिर्फ आई वॉश ना हो जाए एंड इट इज बेस्ड लाइक अर्लियर यूज टू बी सोशली यूजफुल प्रोडक्टिव वर्क एस यू पी डब्ल्यू तो उसमें स्कूल्स में कुछ धीरे 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 बहुत लैग आने लग गया एंड इट वॉज जस्ट फॉर नेम से and students were not oriented properly so we think that this new education policy this vocational education is taken seriously by the school by the student and by the parents also so ek collaboration karne ki zarurat hogi orient karne ki zarurat hogi parents ko bhi ki uh, students ko bhi that is 
डिग्निटी ऑफ लेबर ये बच्चों को सिखाना बहुत जरूरी है हम कहीं पर भी देखते हैं डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज की जब भी हम बात करते हैं एंड ये पॉलिसी भी उसी को ध्यान में रखकर एजुकेशनिस्ट ने बनाई है दैट व्हाई वी आर नॉट इन द डेवलप्ड कंट्री क्या प्रॉब्लम है हमारे एजुकेशन सिस्टम की लार्ज स्केल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट की सो दैट इज ड्यू टू नॉट इन कॉर्पोरेटिंग दिस वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग कि जो सब बच्चे एकेडमिक्स में आगे नहीं होंगे सो वो सेग्रीगेशन हो जाए सो so, मैं कहीं पढ़ रही थी कि यूएस में 52 परसेंट है जर्मनी में भी सम रफली 55 परसेंट के आसपास है और हमारे कंट्री में ये बहुत कम है लेस देन 20 परसेंट समथिंग आई एम नॉट श्योर ऑफ द स्टेटस इट बट इट वाज वेरी लो एज व्हेन वी कंपेयर इट कंपेयर इट ग्लोबली तो वो बच्चों में इंटरेस्ट डेवलप करना बहुत जरूरी है और ये इंटरेस्ट जो है टीचर्स ही डेवलप करेंगे और दे हैव टू बी एट द फोर फ्रंट इन गाइडिंग द स्टूडेंट क्योंकि टीचर का रोल गाइडेंस वर्कर का भी है टीचिंग का भी है गाइड फ्रेंड फिलोसफर गाइड हम जो बोलते हैं टीचर को देन वी हैव टू देन दिस पॉलिसी वन थिंग विच वेन आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू द पॉलिसी लाइक दिस दैट इट्स सम ऑफ द थीम्स इट से दैट द टीचर हैज टू टीच दैट डूइंग वॉट्स राइट लाइक फ्रॉम द फाउंडेशनल स्टेजेस then preparatory that what is right what you should do jo hamari constitutional values hai wo bachcho ko acche se teachers de and later on it can lead uh, to the themes like cheating violence plagiarism littering so ye sab bachcho ko nahi karne chahiye so one aspect which i would like to take here is that plagiarism hum higher education mein bhi bahut zyada baat karte hain iski to शुरू से स्कूल में ही लाइक सी देर आर गाइड्स कीज अवेलेबल एंड द कोचिंग सेंटर्स एंड ऑल दे जस्ट प्रिपेयर द नोट्स एंड द स्टूडेंट जस्ट मग अप एंड दे जस्ट रिप्रोड्यूस इट सो ये तो सबसे पहले प्लेजरिज्म बच्चे जो हैं स्कूल में ही सीख रहे हैं टीचर्स जो हैं वो गाइड करके पढ़ाते हैं सो दैट हैज टू बी चेंज सो उसके लिए कई असेसमेंट लेवल पे भी चेंज की बात की है न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ने they will bring some new type i mean not more of theory based practical based and okay. not to copy and they should okay. write on their own so plagiarism okay. is something okay. which should be taught right from the beginning then only we can in higher education also we can come globally and these are all values jo bhi hum ye it tolerance and uh, non violence not cheating empathy developing all these are all values and values are caught they can't be taught so the teachers first of all they need to have values isi tarah se ek paper ki cutting maine dekhi thi ki teacher jo hai wo khud answers board ke upar likh rahe the and students were copying down so this culture has to be stopped if we really want to be a developed nation and we want to implement new education policy properly the teachers have to be uh, following um, this uh, code of conduct for the teachers that is they don't have to cheat themselves they don't have to uh, plagiarize and they have to be tolerant so these are all the qualities which the teacher needs to inculcate in themselves so as i said we need to overhaul our teacher education program also and as for assessment the new education policy says that now cognitive affective and psychomotor all aspects will be assessed so now it is challenging for the teacher also to assess a student he has to learn ki cognitive domain affective domain and psychomotor that is what on all these domains he has to assess the student and then he has to give the report card of the student to the parents so ye i mean teachers have to learn this new assessment tools also to for a holistic assessment of the students and nep also emphasizes on self assessment and peer assessment so this is something which i really liked in nep if it is implemented properly 
and the teacher it rolls the onus lies on the shoulder of the teacher to implement it properly that is self assessment hame koi sikhata hi nahi hai ki apna khud kaise assessment kare hum jo humne self direction ki baat ki thi self uh, discipline ki baat ki thi to self assessment so it has to be taught right from the school after right from the foundations stages it can be included in the curriculum of teacher education it how to teach students to self assess them then peer assessment peer assessment bhi ek bahut neglected part hi hai hum higher uh, education mein bhi dekhte hain jab aata hai to sab sab ko ek dusre ko acche acche a wo de dete hain like you give me a i give you a so that is not assessment so assessment means that Uh, i mean uh, assessing all the aspects and giving your unbiased view i mean result to the person so again it comes honest assessment so honesty as i talked of the values uh, cheating violence and all so cheating it is also a type of cheating so we have to uh, teach the children right from the beginning the teachers so first of all they have to inculcate in themselves so no absenteeism when the teacher is there he should teach and uh, yes the implementation also lies on the government also that how much it is ready to spend of national gdp as uh, given in nep the government has proposed that it will spend 6% of gdp on education which is a very good um, suggestion but let's see how fast the government implements it because right now it is about 3% and all and all the countries which have good education system they all are spending about 6% of gdp on their education so we need to increase our spending and not only increasing our spending if we spend if the government employs the teacher gives all thing now the teacher has to be honest so in teacher education institutions have to be honest like this ghost teacher and ghost student culture has to be curtailed otherwise uh, we bring any policy it's not going to be a success till the teachers are ready to give their best and they have a missionary zeal to do so so that's all what i my point of view thank you so much thank you madam thank you thank you ma'am so one question from my side uh, the question is uh, for mishra sir please guide and please uh, uh, give you suggestions to with this uh, question the question is it is believed that curriculum should be flexible enough so that a teacher may incorporate her innovation into her teaching any be 2020 and hence that scope or reduce that because as a, i have taught curriculum studies and they always say that a kind of flexibility should be there in a curriculum so sir uh, yes so oh, this is a, a very good question and i can say friends curriculum is a tool and how this tool is going to be used depends on teachers and learner there may be a same curriculum or similar type of curriculum in one class this curriculum will be transacted in a very nice way and in another class this curriculum is transacted in a very rigid way so as a teacher throughout my life journey as a teacher i always feel that curriculum is a tool that teachers are learners are using so if a teacher is competent if teacher is taking class in confidence if we are discussing together and if we are transacting curriculum in a learner centric way i am again repeating it learner centric and now from teacher centric to learner centric and learner centric to learning centric whether we are actually learning something because now there is a lot of talk about learning crisis gap in learning so if we are we are seeing curriculum from this perspective then then every curriculum for me there is no curriculum that is a rigid curriculum for me every curriculum is a flexible curriculum i will get a, a scope a lot of scope to transact it in my way 
the main purpose is whether my student is going to learn something then going to learn something useful that he or she can use in real life situation if this is the way so so i think uh, and but uh, nep talks a lot about bringing flexibility in curriculum and also offers a lot of uh, possibilities for multi multidisciplinary education and multidisciplinary learning so rector thank you sir for that beautiful and correct means a very elaborated answer so we are having uh, more questions from the side of participants one of the question or uh, actually he wants a comment so i would be inviting dr agarwal sir to please give his comment on the statement which is which say which, which goes like that i think the so called teacher teaching journal is an effective way to assess and reflect on his and her teaching practices by doing so the teacher will develop his or her critical thinking uh what is the question i could not understand Sir, there is a statement so there is a statement from a side of a participant the statement is like that i think the so called teacher training journal is an effective way to assess and reflect on his and her teaching practices yes, I by got doing the so i i think i got the thing the thing is that during your internship or teacher training course you must develop the habit of reading writing editing formulating correcting modifying and giving new ideas so journal is a very important thing in your journal is very important thing in your profession the teacher trainee must learn the habit of accepting the idea of what others are saying then make corrections if necessary but general journal should be developed in such a way that they are not just copying copying something from others there should be new ideas now when there are new ideas there has to be criticism also may positive criticism or negative criticism but be ready for that also whenever you are able to accept and translate the new ideas so you can develop new journals also so journals should not be only once they should be repetitive every six month new and that should be thematic also for example you have theme on teacher education you can have on classroom management you can have peer group relationships that way i think it can be very good idea thank you thank you sir <coughs> sir i uh, just i'd like to draw the attention of professor mishra <coughs> sir just uh, just i would like to say one thing we have already studied the recommendation which has been given by justice burma committee there is a shortage and a demand of teachers at so many things on the other hand most of the bed colleges are situated in rural area in india so how to empower the rural teacher with respect to providing different types of new skill to the uh, students so it would be great challenges for us or not uh no uh because uh, as dr kusum was mentioning and uh, dr agrawal was mentioning also uh teacher education is a uh, very significant because if you say that the quality of education is directly proportion to the quality of teachers then i can also add that quality of teachers is directly proportion to the quality of teacher education so uh, yes and but in in unfortunately in our country teacher education is is, is followed in a very limited path in a very rigid way so we have to open our boundary when we talk about teacher education we always focus on secondary teachers teaching up to the schools why not yes. teachers teaching in universities and colleges 
the teacher education is a whole gambit. So we have to think and we have to found different ways. And Dr. Jena, the problem is the, with the teacher education is that we are putting more focus on pedagogy. That's fine. But we have to also focus on the content part. This is very important. If you look to the result of TET and the examination, similar type of examination conducted by in states, the majority of the students fail in the subject. So the past percentage is 10 to 15%. And so, so we have to also focus on the content part. So we have to found new ways to how to bring up with the teachers well versed in content and the pedagogy part. So we have to we have to develop different models of teacher education rather than going for a only an uniform model of teacher education. So unfortunately, we are just focusing on a uniform model of teacher education. We are thinking this model will work everywhere. No, this model will not work as Dr. Professor Agrawal was rightly pointing out. We need a different kind of teacher to deal with five different kind of teacher to deal with plus three, plus four and a different kind of teacher to teach at higher education. So we have to envision, we have to think about different kind of or different type of models for teacher education. This is my take. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So we have another question from the, our participants. Uh, sir, there is, there is one question uh, from the side of uh, Ms. Kanchan Khatreja, the question is, what type of internship will be given to prospective teachers keeping NEP in mind? What will be the structure of such internships? Who will take responsibility of government or private jobs? Should I answer? Yes, yes, sir. You can answer no Actually, when you talk about internship, internship is very important aspect of teacher training. When she asks what type of internship is required, my answer is that it should be for long duration. Teacher should involve not only teaching, but also management also. Framing of timetable, framing of extracurricular activities, framing of sports, framing of national events, for example, school day, for example, Independence Day. So internship should not be just to taking few classes as decided by the university, but the, that intern should be an integral part of institution, which is possible only when the institution employing them is intern, intern. Trains them in the policy and philosophy of the institution. For example, a, a teacher trainee is employed in urban school or some uh, DAV school. So that way, internship should focus on what philosophy they are practicing in the school. That way, internship would, would change. So what I want to say is that when the teacher is taking internship, he or she must be given some financial support from the institution also. Uh, Dr. Jena, Dr. Jena, may I add to something that Professor Agrawal said? Yes, yes, yes sir. Uh, yes, in a way, if, if financial provision is there, fine. But don't think, but think that internship you are learning, what you are, what you are learning in theory in your institution, you are practicing it. So you are also building, you are building your expertise, your knowledge base. So see internship in a holistic manner. If some money is coming to you, that's fine. But if not coming, you don't worry about that because you are learning and that will pay you dividend throughout your life. So better to search for a good institution and involved, as Professor Agrawal was pointing out, don't limit yourself that you are just going go and involve in a different, a different aspect of the schooling, schooling. And uh, you can contribute. And the most, most important thing is the most good part of the internship is that you have opportunity to experiment. So you can gel well with the student and you can participate in day-to-day -day activities. You can organize cultural activities. So my suggestion is look internship as a means to become a better and professional teachers. 
so don't worry, worry about finance because government cannot provide uh, i can say scholarship or some financial some, uh, provision for that if there is no financial provision don't worry about that pay focus on learning if you are learning well then this will give you good return in future but take whole internship in a serious and holistic manner try to learn as much as possible during your internship period thank you thank you sir thank you uh, uh, i would like to add uh, something professor agarwal and professor mishra have very i mean uh, aptly uh, pointed out that you should not do internship for money or something and you should utilize that time and uh, we have so many technology uh, available and uh, we have so many online courses also so as the student who asks that who will decide what to do internship syllabus see now learning is not limited with the teacher as nep also says teacher is not the only source of knowledge and it's a big challenge in front of the teacher these days because there are so many search engines what you tell the student the student already had searched on google search and and one click he gets thousands of sites and he knows so many things so it is very challenging for the teacher teacher has to learn so this internship aspect also what new things are coming up when you go for internship the student can learn online also and you can implement them and the critical thinking aspect which i was talking uh, which is discussed in nep so you can be a critical thinker and use it while doing your internship and you can learn so much and that is what you are needed to do in your internship don't rely as sir said on government the students come and say that we will get see our country is so big we have so many other problems and financial challenges that um, government can't provide uh, money scholarship to everyone we can do ourselves and we can learn online and when you will do good in the school many of my students have seen the schools have paid them in private sector they uh, paid the students and after completion of beard they employed them in their school also so internship is a very big opportunity for you to learn new things and implement them and uh, to get employed in your future thank you madam thank you very much so puja madam do you have any question so yes uh g the one question is that it could be a a conclusion a conclusory question uh you can reply back broadly and everything will be included in this uh when we talk about we have so many commissions committees before but nep 2020 is different from them in terms of road of the my voice is clear i would be asking uh, professor agarwal please reflect on the question and please share yeah, your experience yeah. also ji ji madam am i audible am i audible yes sir yes sir you are ah. audible please go ahead yes the thing is that i But agree that there have been commission committees and i think for first time it has been implemented so early otherwise 65 64 68 implemented 1977 1986 not so easily pro po at etc this policy is better in the way it is accepted by the government and implemented so new education policy should focus now on more quality of education multimedia approach and moreover more interaction among teachers and students i agree that bla good 
for blood loss is good at the same time it is they say 40% on online 60% why is there why this limitation why not more interactive why not more face to face learning so that way i think that the policy must also focus on more teaching in classroom more teaching in situation work place that's my point thank you sir this same question will go to kusum ma'am also so please share your experience ma'am yes i also i mean agree with sir agarwal sir very well said that why we are saying let online i mean this policy is really emphasizing more on online so as uh, on one side it is saying that we have to develop uh, collaboration team work cooperation all these aspects are there uh, in the policy and how can you learn team work sitting at home i mean it is it doesn't sounds to me is it possible we have to be uh, face to face and then only a team can work so it's okay online sources can be collaborated that is blended learning flipped classroom all these new concepts are coming in teaching we can incorporate them but we need as we say we have to develop experiential learning it is saying so i mean i see contradiction in these two so uh, and, and the question was comparing this policy with the previous policies so some aspects are the same which are right it is said that kothari commission was the magna carta of i mean our policies so whatever new policies the uh, new policy which came after kothari commission i see if you um, i mean just uh, go through them you will find it's more or less 80 90% same things which we are trying to bring in our education since 1964 and we have achieved a lot i will not say that no government has achieved we have achieved a lot but we have to go a long way also and the nature of problem is changing and all so some i mean new points are there this uh, differencing the new pedagogical structure is something new and one thing uh, that is what uh, it was the multidisciplinary approach that is very uh, i mean required thing at present time because i remember when i was in school in 10th uh, class uh, my one of my friend was studying in hong kong so she uh, she told me that uh, she is going to take uh, history and uh, science uh, biology and economics like this mix that multidisciplinary thing so i was very shocked because in our school we get only science commerce or arts if you are studying science you can't study economics or if you are studying arts you can't study biology so this is this one thing is really very good which is there in this new policy but it has its own challenges to implement it because already we have staff crunch in schools there are single teacher schools so how multidisciplinary approach will be adopted in those schools or colleges so that's a huge challenge also we could be needing the comments of uh, dr mishra also so you, you are on mute so so uh, i was saying that uh, professor agrawal and dr kusum had already dealt with this question and for me every policy is a good policy what matters most is the implementation if the implementation is good if if implementation is quick and if based on our implementation we are ready to revise or modify the policy then this is a good policy so we have to wait and up the a, a number of steps have been taken to implement the policy and i, I am sure that uh, after implementation of the policy uh, based on the feedback if any re revision will be required the, the 
concerned agencies will take care and revise the policy. So, for me, policy is directly a uh, success of any policy is directly related to the implementation. Mm. Because in every policy, a, a good number of people work, they give suggestion. So, a lot of good suggestion in every policy decision. Uh, thank you, sir, for your comments. So, we are having one more question from the side of Professor Ed Belgani. So, uh, he was the one who wanted comments on the statement previously also, and he has written again a statement and won comments from the panelists. The, pan the statement is, I think it is high time to draw the attention to the importance of professional development in enhancing teachers' teaching practices, uh, self-reflection, critical thinking, and hence students' learning style. So... So he, he is waiting for your comments. So I would be asking Mishra sir first, then we'll head towards other panelists. No, uh, I, I agree because change is the law of life. So change, changes are required. And 21st century, as Dr. Kushum hmm. was uh, mentioning. So we are focusing more on and earlier. Our focus was more on information. But now information is no more a problem. So we can get plenty of information by just a click. So now the focus is on the core soft skill and we say 21st century skill, where we say collaboration, curiosity, critical thinking. These are the new skills that are emerging and for developing such skills, we need a better teachers and we need a different kind of teaching learning style. So I agree with the comments and mm -hmm. this national education policy 2020 also talks about it. So that's why uh, we need, but we have, we, we need, we cannot say that everything is related to the policy. We teachers have to bring changes. We cannot say, okay, this is written in the policy. I will do it. This is not written in the policy. I'm not going to do it because this is our country. We are preparing, a, 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 we are preparing a future citizen. So we have to take note of if we are aware, if policy is saying or not saying, saying for, for me, if it is right, then I am going to change my teaching and then the learning will take place. So don't depend, don't see too much and don't depend too much on any policy. Do what you are doing in yeah. classroom matters most. This is my take. Thank you, sir. And uh, now we will be asking Dr. Agarwal for his comment. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Uh, <clears throat> this two years beard course has given a much relief to us. For example, earlier when it was uh, one year course, beard, practically it was only six month course. We all know this. Now the teaching is no longer a half day job, no longer a sex education course. It's a full time job. So we need to develop professionalism among teachers. So the new ideas of critical thinking, problem solving, teaching can be practiced because now we have longer duration, not only in terms of years, but also how long we stay in the institution. For example, when I was with my beard, I took admission in August, and my exam was in March, April. So that way we got only very few time. Now this two years course, internship, long hours, even teacher institutions, you have to stay from nine to four, four thirty. You have longer working hours, long durations. The thing is that you develop the habit of visiting libraries. We have to develop habit of learning new ideas. We have to take up our teaching job, not as a part-time job, but a full-time professional job like doctors, engineer, computer persons, architects, lawyers. Only then we can think of incorporating new ideas in our teaching learning process. So long, we'll take, for example, as Madam was saying, ghost teachers, ghost students. Still, this is being practiced. Still, I know cases where students never attend this institution. They just go 
to take examinations. Everything is ready for them. How you can develop some ideas? So for that, we have to be honest in our institution. The institutions which are running these courses must be honest. They should not practice any wrongdoing. You know what I'm saying. They are being practiced till now. So unless we are honest, we can't do all this. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Now I will be. Means inviting Kusum ma'am also for her comment on this particular statement. Yes, uh, Professor Agarwal and Professor Mishra have very uh, well, I mean, given answer to this uh, comment that we have to bring professionalism in teacher education, which it lacks. And we have this problem, NCT is dealing with it, and uh, universities are dealing with it and they are trying to curtail it, but how successful they are, that is another question. But as sir said, Misha sir said, and Agarwal sir said, that it lies on us who are taking teaching as a profession. We have to take it as a serious profession and we should acquire new skills. And as I tell all my students, that yes, you have a very bright future because uh, so many, I mean, you see, uh, this private schools are paying so good to the teachers who have skills. So if you have skill, you will get paid. This is what going to come. So you need to develop skills. If you don't have skill, you can't survive because we see that the government schools are closing. In my, in my uh, state, Haryana, now rationalization is going on and they are merging schools because there are no more students. Yesterday, I was uh, watching uh, on YouTube a program that uh, it was uh, of Bihar state, remote area, very poor uh, people in the village, but they sent their wards to a private school, not to a government school. So these are alarming signs. We have to improve uh, our working. If you are working in a government school, if you want to keep your job, or for your future generation. So you have to work honestly, you have to work hard then, because if the students will not come, as we are seeing the government schools are closing. So it is also not good. And uh, uh, if you are working in a private school, they are paying you, but the private will pay you if you have the skill. So you have to uh, develop professionalism in you. And one thing which I would like to point here is that now, in teaching, mostly girls are coming, boys are not coming. In my college, there are 96 girls and only four boys. So you see, this imbalance is also not good for future because we need balance. So the government should also look into it. They should take some steps because then we will see some other problem in future time because they don't continue, we will have a lack of teachers also if they don't uh, work professionally. So these are some uh, problems which can arise in future. So that's all, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all the panelists for adding value to this session. We are left with no question in the chat box or question and answer se section. So uh, with your permission, Jenna sir, may we proceed towards the vote of thanks? Yes, ma'am. Coordinator, School of Education, Kerala Mangalam University to, to give the vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Uh, from the entire uh, discussion, the suggestion which has been given by our panelists, Professor Mishra, Professor Pradhan, Professor Kushum Yadav, and Professor Agrawal. So I came to the conclusion that it is a collective responsibility. 
इट इज नॉट जैसे अभी मिश्र सर बोला है जो कुछ लिखा है हम करेंगे नहीं तो नहीं करेंगे वी मस्ट थिंक और जैसे हम बोलते हैं आउट ऑफ बॉक्स को हम उनको जाना पड़ेगा सो so दैट हमने पॉलिसी को सही ढंग से इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं कर सकेंगे सो अनदर थिंग जस्ट आई वाइक टू से टीचर शुड टेक सम सर्ट ऑफ इनिशिएशन प्रोएक्टिवनेस चाहिए स्टूडेंट हैव सम सर्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स कोई फाइनेंशियल इश्यू हो सकता है कोई सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स हो सकता है टीचर मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम सो दैट क्या हो सकता है एंड स्टूडेंट का इश्यू जब तक हमने रिजोल्व करेंगे डेफिनेटली पॉलिसी को हम इतना सही ढंग से इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग टीचर को यहाँ पे के रोल मॉडल बनना पड़ेगा सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर टेन फैकल्टी ओनली थ्री फोर फैकल्टी देर टेकिंग इनिशिएशन दो दूसरा बोलते हैं हम तो वो कर रहे हैं हम तो कोई नो प्रॉब्लम हम तो वो तो कर रहे हैं नो इट इज इंडिविजुअल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑल्सो सो इट इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी टू गिव वोट ऑफ थैंक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई थैंकफुल टू आवर मैनेजमेंट एंड आई एम ऑल्सो थैंकफुल टू आवर लीडरशिप टीम स्पेशली आवर वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर एस सी दुबे सर प्रो वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर पुष्पलता त्रिपाठी मैडम and i am also thankful to our team members those who are uh, support us and i am also thankful to our media and technical teams and uh, i am also thankful to all the participant from various part of india so lastly not least i am also thankful to all the participant to all the panelists besides their dg schedules they have offer and uh, join with us thank you and uh, again we wish you all the very best and uh, we will keep in touch in future and happy teachers day to all of you namaskar namaskar sir namaskar madam thank you happy teachers day to all thank you sabhi ko sabhi ko shikshak divas ki shubhkamnaye thank you sir thank you we will keep in touch thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Yeah. The feedback of the session. Thank you. Why will be the ending the session? Thank you.